you can't beat the food up here or the weather. Maybe the conversation. These dogs talk about sniffing butts like it's the latest episode of Game of Thrones. But anyway, I tried to distract Luna with some chest rubs and a squeaky bison flavored rope toy. Because even though she was transforming into her spirit self, she still had, and still has, a strong connection to you that she didn't want to let go of. She wasn't ready to leave you. I wasn't ready either. Well, good thing I'm here. Where is she? Uh, here, Charlie. Have some water first. <laughs> Tastes like water. Exactly. <laughs> Delicious, right? <laughs> All right, let's do this. I gotta see my Luna. Well, first, how do I put this? There's a gate for a reason, kid. If I let you pass the Greasy Bully Six into Dog Heaven, you can't ever go back to Earth. That sounds amazing! Oh. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll let you have a glimpse into Dog Heaven, and a big long whiff of it, too, so you can know what you're getting into before you make such a permanent decision. <laughs> you ready? I... well, look at all the balls for them to fetch. They're all wrapped in bacon. <laughs> and over there, is that a tree full of chocolate? And onions. And grapes. And raisins. All the forbidden foods. Can't hurt the pups up here. <laughs> and look at all the cats they're chasing through the grassy meadow. With consent from the cats. Very unlike Earth. <laughs> and over by the lake, is it raining table scraps? Slices of cheese, French bread, filet mignon. Every delicious thing a dog ever hoped would drop off the dinner table. I, they're running around and they're so, so, they're so beautiful. No arthritis up here. Go ahead, kid. Take a whiff. Mmm, it's like I can see with my nose. There's a rainstorm due in a half hour. And a husky and a chihuahua and a poodle due north. And I suddenly need to sniff all of their butts. <laughs> Sniffing is the new scene. Wait, but there aren't any humans. How can they be so happy without us? Well, Charlie, let me tell you the origin of dog. A long time ago, Wolf told God, God, I want to form a new pack with man. So God said, Wolf, man is unpredictable. He will take you from your mother, put you in chains, morph you into a ball of fluff, make you fight your own kind to the death just for sport. Yes, Wolf said. But give me a chance to change man. I'll make sure he goes outside every day to play. I'll comfort him when he's sick or sad. I'll be his guide when he cannot see. I'll protect him when he's in danger. I'll round up his sheep. I'll make him laugh just by being me. I'll love man unconditionally and remind man who he's supposed to be. So God said, okay, you crazy wolf. I will transform you into this animal you so desire to be. And because you'll be an extension of my pure love, I'll give you my own name, spelled backwards. <laughs> so back to your question. Are the dogs happy without us? Sure. They're happy because they're dogs, and this is dog heaven. But they were created to care for us, so this place is more like a stopover for them. A place for them to play and watch for the humans to come home. Well, Luna doesn't have to wait anymore. I'm home, Luna girl. Oh, Charlie. You don't understand. I'm not me without my dog. But what about your family? My worst enemy is on the other side of that closet door. <laughs> and my mom is marrying her dad, and now she's going to live with me. My dad is in Arizona, and all my sister cares about is her friends. Luna is my family. I get it, Charlie. 
When Moki died, I couldn't get out of bed. It hurt, and it hurt, and it hurt. I questioned if there was a heaven. But now you know where Luna is, that she's safe and happy here. I need to be with my dog now, Randy. I need to feel her breathing next to me through the night. I still need to teach her to play dead. Well, maybe not that trick, but... <laughs> I need to throw her the ball, or better yet, the baking wrap ball. I hereby forfeit the rest of my life to be in dog heaven. Well, I tried. Okay, kid. I'll go get Luna to walk me into dog heaven. see you, Charlie. Why not? She wants with every hair on her spirit body to run into your arms again, but she knew that that would be selfish, and dogs aren't selfish like us. She goes to watch you every day to stay connected to you. It's a place where they can look down on their humans and check in and see what they're up to. She loves you, Charlie. Everything about you, from your scent to the way you slurp your milk out of your cereal bowl. <laughs> and now that you know she's in good hands, it's time for you to go. Wait! You don't understand. I can't, I'm not okay without her. If I can't stay here, then let her come home with me. She was only six years old when she died. We didn't get our time together. Oh, Charlie, what you did. And I almost forgot. Luna wanted me to tell you, there will come a time that you're ready to get another dog. No! Never! Luna! She, she wants you to know that a good owner like you should have as many dogs as you want. That way, when you get to the Rainbow Bridge, it won't just be Luna waiting for you. It will be your very own pack. She was too good for Earth, wasn't she? They all are. How will I go on without her? When in doubt, be like a dog. Live in the moment. Enjoy the food, even the scraps. Run and play. Take naps in the most comfortable spot you can find. And always remember to pester those cats. Charlie! Let's go, boy. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. <laughs> Show me my cat. Uh -huh. <laughs> 